the last field last important field is the sequence control field now sequence control field contains the fragment number and sequence number information okay the first four bits contains the fragment number if the current frame is using the fragmentation the first four bits will contain the fragment number and the remaining 12 bits will contain the sequence number of that frame now what is the sequence number every every wireless frame will be having a sequence number client and ap will both increment the sequence number for every new frame so typically this sequence number field will keep on incrementing from 0 onwards and since it's a 12 bit field it's a small field it can easily get wrap around so don't go with sequence number very seriously as of now then comes actual frame body if you see the frame structure uh, we have already seen frame control duration the three addresses the sequence control the fourth address as i have explained it will be only present in wds mode what is wds mode there is a separate video on securitytube.net you are requested to watch that video after that comes the actual frame the frame will be present it can be encrypted or a clear text okay at the end of every frame a fcs or frame checksum will be present it's a 32 bit crc checksum and it is calculated over all fields of mac header as well as frame body okay now let's see in short what are the management frames now management frames are used for connection handshake between two stations the probe request response authentication request response association request response all these frames are the connection oriented management frames these frames are also used for synchronization generally beacons are used for synchronization time synchronization between access point and the client these are also used for handoffs beacons are also play a important role in handoffs as well as there are some action management frames which are very much useful in handoffs and in power management again beacons are the ones which are used for power management pim field in the beacon is used for power management the manage for for the management field the type field is set to 00 i just now explained that these are some examples of management field beacon probe request response authentication request response action management etc there are separate videos on every management frame subtype you are requested to watch securitytube.net for more details let's go ahead and see the control frames now in control frames type bit is set to 01 some examples of control frames are rts cts acknowledgement power save rts cts frames are used to solve the hidden node problem what is hidden node problem if if mac address 1 is sending some packets to mac address 2 simultaneously mac address 3 is also trying to send some packets to mac address 2 now at the end of mac address 2 there will be packet collision and mac address 2 will not be able to receive either mac 1 or mac 3's packets to solve these packets the rts cts frames are used there is a separate video on securitytube.net please go ahead and watch that video to know more about hidden node problem and how rts cts frames are actually used there are acknowledgement frames now every unicast frame has to be acknowledged by the receiving end there is a quality of service overhead with this acknowledgements qos standards actually takes care qos standard actually takes care of these excessive acknowledgements there are some power save features to save the power of the client station some cfp announcements etc now 2ds and from ds flags will be set to zero in control frames as well and control frames have very few fields as per the requirements all the frame fields will not be present in control frames the last frames are the data frames in case of data frames type field is set to 10 now these frame contains the actual data which is to be transferred between access points and clients the some examples of data frames are data null data qs data and so on let's see one wireshark trace 
to know more about the packet i have actually captured a single packet it's a beacon packet now let's see the ieee 802.11 header as i have mentioned the first two bytes are the frame control bytes now now the wireshark will show the bit by bit information in the lowermost row so if i click on ieee 802.11 it is highlighting which all bytes are the part of ieee 802.11 header now when i click on frame control first two byte is a frame control so version is 0 type is management subtype is 8 subtype 8 is for beacons and the other flags are mentioned here these flags are first two flags are 2ds and from ds so in this case these are 0 0 2ds from ds 0 now not leaving a ds or network can be ad hoc for ad hoc also these flags are always zero second is more fragment then retry bit power management bit more data field protected field and order field all these fields are currently set zero because the ap is configured in that way next field comes the duration field currently duration field is set to 0 0 the beacon frames generally will have a zero duration next comes the address field these are actually the three addresses as i have explained first address is always going to be destination address and since beacons are always broadcast beacons have to be received by all the stations which are on that channel so the first by so the first address field is all fffff second is the source address source address is the ap's mac which is sending the beacons third is third is bss id now since these are the beacon packets the bss id and ap's address will be the same now comes the fragment number field now uh, this is zero fragment and the sequence number is say 3913 3913 now in the second beacon the sequence number will field will be incremented it will be 3914 then comes the actual data fields let's not go ahead and see the data fields and at the end of the data fields the fcs checksum will be present now my current now the drivers with which i have captured the packet is not showing me the fcs checksum but this is the simple content of the ieee 802.11 headers now there are some simple filters if you only want to see the management packets you can apply the filter as wlan.fc.type equal to equal to 0 If you only want to see some subtype, then you can apply filter as wlan dot fc dot type under source subtype equal to eight from beacon packets. If you only want to see the data packets, similarly you can apply this particular filter. That's all for this video. In next videos, I'll be explaining more about the wireless frames, the details about individual management control and data packets, how exactly the handshake takes place. what are the security settings and so on thank you for this video